Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Yes, it turned out to be kind of a wet day. As a matter of fact, as expected, the farther east you were, generally speaking, the more rain you ended up getting, like in Lebanon, since midnight. So what do we got? 23 and a half hours ish, about eight tenths of an inch there, six tenths of an inch in Springfield. We did see half an inch, though, in Middlebury, and we've got more where that came from. Here's what's going on on Storm Tracker right now. Looks like the rain perhaps a little bit heavier over toward uh, the Northeast Kingdom and especially as you get into places like Coas County. But then as you come on back to the West, Newport Derby, yeah, we've got some rain and in, into Franklin County into the Champlain Valley. Generally speaking, it's been lighter. Notice this a little while ago. Needed the wipers a few times, but it certainly wasn't pouring out there. Bottom line is this. This upper level low pressure system continuing to just kind of crank off the coast of Maine. And that's going to be the case not only tomorrow, but the day after that. So we've got rain expected, especially during the afternoon hours on your Tuesday and Wednesday. And I think we'll find some thunderstorms as well. A lot of 60s on the map from Jay to Derby to Morrisville right now 65 degrees in Schuyler Falls, Bennington right now at 64. Here's the thing, a little uncomfortable because the dew points are very high. When the dew points get this close to the actual temperature, it is going to be pretty sticky out there. And that's one of the uh, cases we're going to have to deal with tonight. Look at this mid 60s right in the Champlain Valley. Well, today's high 71. We're doing a 77. This is our forecast for tomorrow. Not good enough. How about 82 on Wednesday, which by the way, is July 1st. It's hard to believe. And then on Thursday, we go into the 90s. We slip a little bit after that temperature wise, but we've got a lot of warmth in the upcoming 10 day forecast. Now for tomorrow, we may find a few rain showers around in the morning. Better chance for afternoon showers and yes, some thunderstorms in there as well. Here's future cast. Let me step you through this one o'clock in the morning. Few showers take you through the overnight. As I say in the morning, we may see a couple of showers, but here's your better chance for afternoon showers and thunderstorms. We get that daytime heating that upper level low has just given us much cooler air aloft, so it's going to be uh, just a, a bubbling up situation by the afternoon and not only for Tuesday. Here comes your Wednesday and again the afternoon looking kind of busy by Thursday though. I think we're finally getting rid of the upper level low pressure system and that looks to be a pretty good day. So first alert weather for tonight still periods of rain, especially in northern Vermont 61 for a low in St. J. We'll call it 63 in Burlington. Meanwhile, tomorrow could see a few scattered showers in the morning. Much better chance for afternoon showers and storms. 77 degrees Burlington, 74 Lebanon. We'll call it 69 in Saranac Lake. Five day forecast. Uh, we've got the impact icon on there for you the next couple of days because it's going to impact you, certainly if you're driving around and mainly in the afternoon with those showers and perhaps some storms. 77 Tuesday, 82 on Wednesday, Thursday. It's going to be hot but it does look sunny at 91. Now, Friday and Saturday, we're getting into the 4th of July weekend here. I think for the most part, those are going to be dry days, maybe just a couple of showers around, so that chance is there. We're in the 80s then. Next Sunday, along with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's getting hotter, and we'll see a lot of sunshine. 